Well, howdy. Welcome to Fish Tales. You know, there was a discussion on the Texas Fishing Forum lately about spoon flies. And one guy had pointed out that the pet spoon, you know, the normal pet spoon that you get from, uh, or you get for uh, regular conventional spinning gear, that the pet spoon works pretty well. Uh, and, you know, it's quite possibly it's uh, due to the shape of it or the action or all those things coloration whatever well you can't throw a pet spoon with a fly rod that's for sure but we had talked about you know spoon flies for a while and there's a number of very typical ways to make a spoon fly and those Typical ways are a little bit involved. Uh, usually there's epoxy, um, plastic, I mean it, there's various ways and if you do an internet search on spoon flies and how to tie them, it's rather involved. Well, it's not that I don't have the time, but I certainly don't like to spend that much time on one fly, especially something like a spoon fly, uh, where really it's just a spoon. It's pretty simple pretty simple fly but they are quite effective I've been fishing in the spillway at my local lake here when it flooded in June in May and June it uh, brought the lake up to record levels and it's just now and it's September it is just now coming back to normal they've had the spillway gates open you know letting the water out of the lake uh, since May and that has put a lot of fish in the spillway in the tail race and I've been fishing for hybrid stripers and white bass which they are minnow eaters they love shad and uh, a pet spoon or a spoon fly is a very good imitator for uh, shad let me show you what I came up with like everything else that I do this is not a finished product they're always under development because you know you, you go out and you try them and they may or may not catch fish that's not always a fault of the fly um, but you know you you constantly wanna make a tweak here and there size shape action uh, and the thing is is it's all controllable everything about this fly is you know tweakable you can make it thinner make it wider make it more spoon shaped uh, you know wider at the front narrow at the front it doesn't matter it, it, the, the uh, variations are endless let me show you how I do this it's pretty simple all right I am making these flies out of uh, soda pop bottles in this case this was a coke bottle I don't know if you can see it but it has it has a pattern on it, like there, it says Coca-Cola, <laughs> which I'll make a fly out of this, <laughs> just because. The uh, density of the plastic matters. Some of the water bottles are made with so little plastic that there's not enough there. It doesn't have any strength. You need a little bit of strength with this. Here's, here's part of a Dr. Pepper bottle. I think that's what it is. This plastic is stronger. This is the good stuff. Actually, I don't know if that's a... Actually, I think that's this Coke bottle. Alright, well, to start out with, we'll just use this Coke bottle. You need to cut a strip. And this will work just fine. But you need a good pair of scissors. Alright, I'm going to cut this thing right out of there. You start just by doing this. You just cut your strip and then you shape it like a fly I like to make a little slit at the end and you'll see why that matters right there at the end and then I cut a V shape try to keep it even you're probably not going to get exactly what you want on the first trim but that's pretty close now you make the head round one side's off. It 
second sides off. So there you have it. There you have the, the basic shape. Now I didn't do a very good job on this. It's not even. I can even that up just by trimming off a little more. And I'll probably just trim too much, but we'll go with this just as an example. Now, like I said, I have I have made so many variations of this fly. It's <laughs> actually no two of them end up the same. But this is just an example to show you the base of the process. Basically what you do is you have a shape. That's a spoon shape. And you take a hook. In this case, this is a Oshagasi. This is a saltwater hook, which it's about a number two aught. A two aught hook. This was relatively short shank. And what you do is you run this through here, right at the head. And I'm going to take this a little bit further back because I'm probably going to shorten the spoon. Basically right in the center. There you go. See how that's right in the center. Now you run that back over top of the, sh the shaft of the hook. And you bend it back over it like this. You can see I'm, I've got a... It's a shorter hook. That's, that's actually too much, too much bend for what I like. You can also use a very long shank hook and do this and then bend the hook. I've got some of those. Alright, so there you have the basic shape of a spoon fly. That's totally wasted. Uh, that is more closer to the right size now. So I'll just retrim it. Okay, there you go. Now that is getting closer to the length that I need for this particular hook. Okay, there you go. Alright, let me tie this thing on. Okay, we just thread up the hook at the end. To about right there. You see where I put that split in the back? That'll help the plastic conform over top don't have the strongest thread that I normally use. Normally I use 210. Strongest stuff I can get. This is just 70. This is the heart of the fly. I also left this clear so that you could see what was going on underneath it. thread base on there. And I'm going to just tie that off. This is just to show you the very basic construction of this fly. You're probably going to want to put a tail on it. Okay, well there you go. Now I'm going to put some I'll polish on that to keep it sealed. I'd like to tie it off, but that ain't happening. Alright, there you go. Now, you can see how that is attached. I'm going to round this out. you see, other than a little bit of thread at the end of that, that's it. That is a fly. Believe it or not, that would catch fish just like it is. It would flutter down in the water like this. It typically goes like that, or it may go like this. But it does. It'll tend to flutter. Now, I didn't spend a lot of time making this thing look pretty, but you get the idea. That's just pop bottle 
cut the shape you want, run the hook through it, cut the back of the, the spoon to match the size of hook you're using. Like I said, a long shank hook. See, here's a here's a longer shank. It's a mustad. That has a little bit longer shank than this does, and it would make for a better fly. Let me show you some of the ones I've tied up. Now here's just a few of the variations that I've come up with. You can see some of them have some silver. This is a this is a pretty good one here. That is very much like the pet spoon. And that one right there, you'd be hard pressed to tell that that's not a standard pet spoon. I didn't, I didn't get a chance to throw this one yesterday when I was fishing. I was, but I did test some flies. See, here's, here's essentially the same thing in a shorter version. But you can see how that's, that's constructed just the way I showed you. Here's an earlier version. A little different take on it. Here's another one of the extra wide spoon, short body. It's got flash underneath it. Here's another one with the flash underneath it, very slim profile. Here's a tiny one. Here's one that doesn't have any. I, I used that's that's the clear plastic, but I just used a magic marker to color it up. There's another smaller fly. Got some bead chain eyes in it to give it a little weight. Haven't even fished with that one yet. Here's one where I was using the body to create a, you know, part of the illusion. Here's another one, another experiment. <laughs> Haven't tried that one yet. Here's one that shows a lot of promise. That's magic marker, clear, and I just palmered the hackle underneath it. It's got good flash in the body. It's tied in on the tail. I haven't used this one yet either. Here's one. It showed a lot of promise, but it quickly got destroyed by the gar. When the gar hit these things, they pretty bad. They tear them up. That just gives you an idea. See, here's one that shows a lot of promise. And the thing is, that fly, if I didn't like the spoon action, I'll just cut the spoon off and use it as a woolly booger. There you go. Experimentation, that's the idea. Hey, thanks for watching. Y'all be good. Bye.